Diana, Princess of Wales, has had her fair share of portrayals in recent times. We have Kristen Stewart's new movie, Spencer, Emma Corrin introducing her to Netflix's The Crown in season four, and now with season five's casting overhaul, Elizabeth Dembitsky is stepping into the princess's shoes. I'm Matt Rogers, and today we've got a first look at Dembitsky's Diana and Dominic West's Prince Charles. But not only that, there has been some onset drama in relation to how the show is portraying Diana. And our new queen, Dolores Umbridge, I mean, Imelda Staunton, has spoken on the topic of season five's release. Now, I'm bringing you all the latest news and updates on The Crown, so in order to stay up to date, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. The Crown Twitter account has already given us a first look at Staunton as Queen Elizabeth II, but now we have the first official images of Charles and Diana. There has been some debate over Dominic West's likeness to the real Prince Charles, and I must say it is kind of jarring after Josh O'Connor in seasons three and four. But the casting directors haven't missed a beat yet, and I don't doubt we'll be used to him after the first few episodes. However, I don't think we'll be having the same issue with Diana, as Elizabeth Dembitsky is uncanny in this first look of her in character. Some onset photos have also leaked with some of Diana's iconic looks, and I for one had to double take at a few of these photos, thinking they really were the princess. Yes, the actress already shows a resemblance, but it's also a huge achievement by the show's hair and makeup team. There has been ongoing struggles though with casting lookalike actors for their children, especially Prince William, but the search is now over and they will be introducing Dominic West's real life 13 year old son, Seenan West. So we'll be seeing actual father and son on screen, most likely in the later episodes of the season when the prince will be around Seenan's age. For a breakdown on the rest of the confirmed cast, be sure to check out my video on what we know about season five. As we know, the events of season four ended in the late 1980s, and reports say that we're likely to be covering events this season spanning from the 90s to the early 2000s, which was a dramatic time period for the royal family. The season will likely be covering the separation of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Princess Anne and Mark Phillips, and of course, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. At the same time, the royal family was also dealing with the fire at Windsor Castle, closely followed by the divorce of Diana and Charles, and then the tragic death of Princess Diana. But how the show is depicting Diana has caused some issues behind the scenes. The website Looper has reported that television producer and show consultant Jemima Khan has left the series' fifth season, citing concerns over the portrayal of Princess Diana, whom she was closely acquainted with when the Princess of Wales was alive. For those that don't know, to stay relatively historically accurate, the producers hire advisors to stay on track. It's arguable how true to life this show really is, with some representatives of the royal family rallying to have a disclaimer at the start of each episode to say it is just a dramatisation and not factual, but it's nice to see that they have, or at least had, some direction. It has been reported that Khan came to the realisation that the respect and compassion she hoped would be reflected on the show was not present. As a result, Khan asked for her contributions to be removed and refused to be credited in the show. With the crown already upsetting the real life royal family, notably with Prince Philip's betrayal, it doesn't look like the royals will be too keen on this season either. But the show goes on and in an official recent update from the new queen herself, we now know when we will have our next instalment. But I'll let Her Majesty speak for herself. Hello, I'm Imelda Staunton and I'm currently on the set of The Crown, where we have just begun filming season five. Hopefully I look calm, collected and capable. My stomach, meanwhile, is doing somersaults. On behalf of the cast and crew, we look forward to bringing you the next season of The Crown in November 2022. Well, there you have it. Unfortunately, we aren't getting a 2021 season as fans would hope for, but I don't think any of us are surprised. But what can we watch in the meantime to scratch that royal itch, you may ask? Well, I do have a few recommendations. The 2006 movie The Queen is covering approximately the same time period as season five will, and get this, it was actually written by the creator of The Crown, Peter Morgan. So it's probably as close as you can get to what next season has to offer. Diana, in her own words, is a fantastic documentary that, as the title says, is told by the princess herself. And most recently, Pablo Lorraine Spencer with Kristen Stewart. This movie is yet to be released in Australia where I am, but if you've seen it, I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. 
But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all. Oh.